So I'm here at the Water Cube. It's my final interview today. Here's uh, is John, John Sauer, and Erin, Erin Wright. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Nice to see you both. Hi, Mark. So, how's it going? Talk it's away. A, it's been a great week. Um, I think what's been, what's really struck me is how important it is that we, we get, we we've got to get this monitoring and evaluation thing right. I mean. It's so critical that we understand the status of our projects. I think like all of us at World Water Week need to be able to walk up to one another and say, you know, what is the status of your programs over the past 20 years and be able to answer that question. Because I feel like that's really the, you know, that's one of the missing links. That's why I think we've had this sort of repetitive cycle of failed water programs, even though we've, um, you know, we've changed our approach. You know, we had the first water decade where lots of money, lots of infrastructure building, and we did, you know, we did tackle, you know, a good chunk of the water and sanitation problem, but 40% of the projects failed. Then we said, scratched our heads and said, hmm, you know, what, uh, what went wrong? Oh, we, we didn't involve the community enough. So then we went and we had, you know, uh, another many years of working with the community and, and trying to get that right. And yeah, we, we did a good job again and got a lot of uh, water programs, but still 40% of the projects failed. So now we're in this service delivery model, and I think that we're going to be stuck with the same situation if we don't really get the full monitoring and evaluation right. And you know, it's it's more about just knowing the status and you know whether we can hold ourselves accountable. It's really about the learning what's working so because I think that's the key thing. So I'm interested in what you think think is driving this. I I, I remember like we were writing about how last year WikiLeaks made us all if it whatever the rights and wrongs of it made us all realize one thing and it, it meant that the the internet now means you can't hide the past for long right uh, and and I, and it's not and again I but, but, so my question is does, yeah. do you think things like that are affecting people's attitude that they know they need to do a much better job of making things that continue to work of course because eventually what they do will become the only thing I would say about that, though, is that you're talking about accountability for your projects, but we're talking about that, so w the way you're asking the question is saying that they need to be accountable to their donors, anyone, you know, making sure that these programs work to have an investment yeah. in it, but I think we need to change the conversation as well to accountability being to the people whose lives we work in. Yeah. We're in those yeah. communities, we're working with these people, and that's, I, I, John says it best, there's no excuse anymore, but it's not because someone's going to get caught for not having the right kind of work. It's because you're working every single day with these people who want water, who want sanitation, who want a better life overall. And that's who we have to be accountable to. Yeah. So, um, well, John, you're working, you're, 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 you're um, both at Water for People, and Water for People is, is built flow, which is an amazing tool to look at the perform the ongoing performance of these these tools. How how is what's what's the you know, where's that at? Well I mean I think we're seeing I I, I don't want to talk too much about what we're what we're doing, but I think what we're seeing is there's this real um, there there is an excitement around monitoring. ACVO is doing it. Yeah. I think we're doing it. Other people in the sector are doing it. You know, I, it, what it, it doesn't matter what the tool or the platform is. I think it's what's important is that we do it. Yeah. And that I think, and what what we're seeing where we are rolling it out. We've had a major you know rollout in the use of flow in Liberia, um, where like something like twenty thousand um, water points have been mapped in the urban rural areas. This is happening in West Africa. I think. What again? What we're seeing is the excitement around this treasure trove of information and knowledge that we're getting out of this process. That's really helping us figure out how are we going to really do this better. And that, when we, I think, have enough of that evidence base, and that, that's what it is. It's it's shifting the conversation from this, you know, these anecdotal evidence, these anecdotal stories, which do not make an evidence base, to real evidence base and it's 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 make it's getting governments excited about monitoring it's getting the communities themselves monitoring going back to Aaron's point it's it's, it's a really important great. shift so here's to that so great to see you both you thanks. thanks a lot thanks <laughs>